is a very important cupcake order. Now, Custard, I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Forgot what? This way. Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard. Earth Day. <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day. Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. <laughs> Earth Day. <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday. Oh. Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't you notice me say these needed to be perfect? or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order. Aww. <laughs> Lemon! That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> Shortcake, you gonna let us in? So, it's the Berry Bounty Banquet, and I accidentally invited my Berry Bessie's entire families, but it was fine because Aunt Praline and I made it work, but then this lucky spoon caused a chain reaction that destroyed the apartment, and my friends and their families are all outside, and everything is ruined! You are not lucky, Spoon. You are bad. Shortcake! Okay, fine, I'll go. Hi, every fairy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? We're here for the banquet. Everything all right? <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh, Orange, is your friend okay? I don't really know. We can do this! Give me two minutes and duct tape! Yep, she's lost it. <laughs> Fluffy Chiffon, one of Lime's dance. 
I hear you have some interesting flavors in that fabulous ice cream cart of yours. Oh, uh, weird flavors that make no uh, sense. Mom, everything Bagel is doing it again. Make him stop. Did Blueberry just get mad? <laughs> hey, now, it's like I always say to my little lemon zest, there's always a positive way to express feelings. Lemon's dad talks about feelings? Ugh, lemon zest. What? Like you don't get embarrassed by your family? <sighs> Shortcakes, let us in. It is getting weird out here. It's getting weird in here, too. We have a blowtorch. <laughs> What's up? Shortcakes? Spill. Spill? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, spill? Spill what? My spoon destroyed the apartment and ruined the food, and I think the pressure broke my hand, and it's all my fault the banquet's ruined! <laughs> <laughs> Why is every berry laughing? Holidays never go the way you expect. Oh, I could tell you stories, sweetie. Remember when Lom wanted to stay up and fell asleep in her mashed potatoes? She woke up with a potato mustache. Dad! A situation like this is a good character builder. The lesson we have to take away from this... Lessons later, babe. I'm hungry. Just show us what we can do. This is amazing. I'm starving. Starving. this lady some comments, tried to hide everything. We're family. We fix our problems together. I can't believe it worked out. I knew it would. Uh-huh. What? Lucky spoon. If it wasn't for the lucky spoon, none of this would have happened. And isn't this kind of perfect? Oh. Yeah, it really kind of is. <laughs> Sorry, I doubted you. is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a Barry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? <laughs> Cake pops, because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfoglia taile between my legs. See what I did there? Sfoglia taile? Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Genoise, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then, thanks. Okay, then, I'm going to keep an eye out for Genoise. <gasps> uh huh. That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right! And her hideous, wide-brimmed hat. Whoa! Yeah, that is not how I picture Jen was at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you! <laughs> I, uh... Hello there! I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar! I'm... I know who you are. <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets. Cake Pop? I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is.
that I look, darling. Ta-da! I'm good enough to eat. Seriously? <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sugar. Cake my day. <laughs> oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your cranberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. should have known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out-of-town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up! Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> there. There. <laughs> Cranberry jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the All City Cherry Thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton, carton of gooseberries, gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. Seriously? You insisted! I insisted because I thought you'd insist a bit more on return! Wow, orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Wow! Did I mention Orange is fast? But hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lading? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I don't, I don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make tripod, tripod, and I don't know if I make a Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumbcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. 
You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. <laughs> so, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangelstein's. Turkey roasting? Check. You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah. I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City. A small, delicious celebration. Ugh. Uh, Aunt Praline, um, do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? I want every berry there. Me familia, S2 familia. Maybe. There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Yes. There is no way we can do this. I'll just, I'll text them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam! We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed. That's when we're at our best. And if your world feels like it's crashing down, we'll turn it back around. We'll turn it back around. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get seem impossible but trust me we're unstoppable the two of us won't ever fall get out of our way together we are number one turn problems into something fun before you know it will be done we're saving the Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> you were saying? Strawberry jelly donuts? I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep. And 
Palin is taking me out for a girls' night. W-O-W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. A fancy night out on the town. That's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear. Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> <laughs> Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth. Goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Ooh, ooh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but winter swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift for my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition. Because if it was, I'd clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I... Love it. Is there more? Up to you. That's the gift. We make this song together. <laughs> <laughs> 
A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. <sighs> don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Merry berries far and near. And all around us, winter swirling. So many things we can do. Deck the halls and shopping too. It's more fun when I'm with you. And all around us, snow is whirling. Hey! Winter swirling in the air. Nothing outside can't come. you give it's about who you give it to and huck gave us all something really special but i still give really great gifts Frightfall in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yup, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. How shall I tell him that? Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Woo! Just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop wavering! Oh! It's just a plant. <laughs> oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry! <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. 
All right, what's that? Bad plumbing? Seriously? <laughs> ah! It is I, Jay Quinty Cupcake. Who dares bake in my present? No, no baking here. It is you, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> One time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> Yaha! The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the Berry Works! Put her there, Mr. Cupcake! Hey. <laughs> oh, hey! Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like... Huh? Hello? Whoa, this is THE J. Quincy Cupcake! Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! What are you doing? Oh, and gumdrops. You three are the reincarnated spirit of Jake Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Sup? <gasps> Lemon, between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for a peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six. Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? Worry about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on, the Cakeinator's program to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a Sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor. Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush layering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry, that metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. <laughs> Extra 
extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. We'll start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to... <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry? Hi. 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 I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there, you okay? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your pet rat help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you! I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do with some. Just take your time. But what if I choose wrong and mess up this cute song? Well, then we'll start again. It's no big deal. Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, you won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe. You know, be brave and choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, you won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> Everything is going fantastic. 
Cake at Berry Works. Huckleberry Pie is fitting right in, and even bread pudding is cooled off. Mm-hmm. 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 No, here, let me hear it. Yes. Feel it. Oh. Feel it. Hey, Berry Shine Bright. You! The music! Over it! What's wrong with the little music? It's a lot of music everywhere! I can't escape it! Just stay by your... You don't have a cart. Nope. I go where the song takes me. <laughs> Thing is, all Berry Works vendors need carts. No cart? No you. <sighs> no sad strumming without a cart! Bread pudding is correct. Every berry working needs a cart. <gasps> That's it! Huck can just work out one of our carts! It's a total win-win. Huck gets to stay, we get the help. Three blue blasts, two green meanies, one orange deluxe. Got that, Huck? Orders. I need a large lemon lime barrigade blaster, extra syrup, half ice. You need a small, large, extra syrup, half syrup, half a berry, half ice. Uh, got it. Right, right, right. Uh, blast the syrup. No! Uh, uh, uh. Maybe help lemon instead. Wrench. Uh, no, no. No. Where did the chicken come from? Oh. Inspire us with creative new flavors. Oh, close your eyes. What do you see? I see vanilla. Uh, anything else? Vanilla ice cream. Maybe something more daring? Vanilla ice cream in a cone. Mind blown. Your energy is simple. You should share it with the world. Just not here. Okay, let's see how you do baking orders. The oven gets hot quickly, so... Make sure you use oven mitts. And... I keep the mitts right... Huh? What is happening? Nothing. It's good that music's my passion. I'm no good at anything else. I'm really, really sorry, Huck. No tears, my song will never end Because I have you, my awesome friends Who love my art, with or without a cart. <gasps> That's it! Instead of Huck working in our carts, we needed to help him get one of his own. The Huckleberry Pie Varioke Cart! You all did this for me? Wow. Why are you still here? I told you, no cart, no way. And there is nothing that can change. Look, Brad, the girls made me my very own Berryoki music cart. Berryoki? Berry, berry, so contrary. Shake it up, pick it up, pick me if I make it up, or you're gonna whisk me away. Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Question, why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter Swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but Winter Swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! 
<laughs> Who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, Hey, you! Listen to what I'm saying! Uh, Grr. If you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect! You get all that? Uh... Great! Show us what you've got. <clears throat> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of sparkberries! Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. It's a brand new day, Custard. Gotta get dressed. Gotta seize the day. Oops, sorry, forgot to say good morning, Custard. How rude of me. It's my first weekend in Big Apple City! I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me. Sweet. 
Just breathe. That's right. This place can be your paradise. Okay, what's next? Where should I go? So many friends to get to know. You know this city life is pretty sweet. And there's so many awesome berries still to meet. Cause I'm no ordinary berry. There's so much I wanna be. I am more than just one flavor. I'm a complicated recipe. Big friends and bigger dreams. And I'm here to set them free. You just watch Big Apple City. Oh, you'll see. The city never sleeps. It's so exciting. So many things I've never seen before. The sights, the sounds, the scents are so inviting. You never know what's waiting out that door. And sure, I may be nervous, but I'm gonna see this through. Cause you have to take the first step. Again. Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, A New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Granberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? No berry believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day! Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment. Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Anna K. Karenina. World peas. So every berry has access to healthy snacks. A year filled with explosions! <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's narrowing it down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. Ah, nice. Warm. Oh, too specific. Too fantastical. Too retro. This is a New Year's wish. It needs to be just right. <sighs> ah! uh, who will pinch me if I fall asleep? 32? 33? Ooh! Guys, I think I have it narrowed down to the top 10 best wishes! How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what. Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star, too? Of course. My grandmama Marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's, Year's wish, wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always, always comes true. true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes. 
I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry! Berry, where are you at? If you tell any berry that I made a wish, I will... totally find some way to embarrass you. Very happy New Year, Big Apple City. Lemon, your poppers! Chocolate and rum raisin? Been done. Pineapple and grass. Too sour. Coming up with unique ice cream flavors isn't easy. You have to clear your mind and let the universe guide you to something truly tastastic. Caramel? and relish. <laughs> Some days the universe isn't very helpful. Hmm, I'll try this, and this, and this. Too many flavors. So cold, the rain is frozen. Okay, Blueberry, I've got a butter cake that needs a little something extra. And that something extra is ice cream! I mean, it's a vanilla butter cake, and the only ice cream flavor I can think of to go with it is vanilla. But I mean, come on! Vanilla on vanilla is just so obvious. And I don't want to be obvious, so I do not want vanilla. But what flavor do I want? You're the expert, what should I do? Vanilla. Right. That's what I don't want. <laughs> Blueberry, are you okay? <gasps> Cheesecake! Blueberry's frozen! No, not just frozen. She's got brain freeze. Why didn't you tell me? Blueberry is usually so creative. She comes up with flavors no berry would think of. But not if she's got brain freeze. I have got to unfreeze her so she can get back to brainstorming brilliant ice cream for me. I mean herself. to thaw her out. At least we can snack while we wait. Marshmallow and cheese. Yeesh! <laughs> that is an interesting combo. I mean, Blueberry would love it if she ever snaps out of this whole frozen thing. If the campfire doesn't work, I'm not sure what we'll do. Maybe some sort of song? Or, oh, maybe some hot peppers. Yeah, that could... Ow! It's not about warming up her body. It's about warming up her creativity with something weird, wacky. <gasps> this sweet, cheesy, smoky combo should do the trick. Cheesecake, why didn't you think of this? Humph. Billy tapioca, I love it! Marshmallows, cheese, and smoke. The perfect pairing of sweet and savory. I'll call it Camembert Campfire. Crunch. Yeah! Woo! My butter cake is saved! <laughs> huh. Camembert Campfire Crunch. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my taste buds! So, yeah, I went with vanilla on vanilla. Oh, uh, yeah! Oh, uh ho! -huh. Strawberry shortcake and her dressy sous chef custard. Custard? Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What, what happened? happened? Caramel popcorn! I 
tomorrow when I'm hungry, too. I was busy and Custard wandered off, and now I can't find her! Which makes me a terrible person and an even worse cat mom! Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, hey Frappe! Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? <coughs> Custard! <gasps> oh, 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 oh. painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of Tutti Fruity toucans who flew down from the Forbidden Fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti Fruity toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the Forbidden Fruitlands. The Forbidden Fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like, why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History say! All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <laughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. <laughs> um, what were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that Tutti Fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes! And they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. 